Welcome to Wrestle Rock with Rick Connor. Fat and talentless. Matt Flowers. Give me what I want. Mark Kalbacher. Is that okay, 2019? And Corey Castle. Tell everybody that you love that you love them. So enjoy your life. Uh, you're such a hippie. Hey, hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to another super awesome, great kind of edition of Wrestle Rock. Boo. Boo. Wrestle Rock sucks. Ooh. Thumbs down. Thumbs down all Two around. Thumbs down. <laughs> I gotta turn the mics down. He's already want the mic. He's already red light. He's already red line and everything. We I'm just flipping the mic left and right. I don't care. Bam, bam. bam. Thumbs down. Rick Too is loud. I am excited. Well, this is our. This is minus our, uh, five stars. <laughs> minus five stars. This is the first. This is our, our first. The first time uh, in a while that we've had the four of us together. Yeah. And uh, the, I guess we have to year. talk about it, right? In the year. Well, in this year, yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Did, Did you, you have to do it? It's like year? almost February. In the year, in this decade, this is the first time that we're all okay. Can you believe it's 2020? Is that a basic, a basic? Do you have topic? any idea? How old I am? <laughs> you have any idea? How old I am? I, we never saw. Rick and I are old enough to say like you never even thought 2020 was. No. <laughs> We're like the year 2020. That's not a year. Remember the year 1999? We were supposed to have space shuttles and stuff already. Oh yeah, like, flying like, cars and yeah, yeah, like, teleportation. Mm-hmm. We suck. Going to go see. That's 2020, and we're lobbing missiles back and forth. And, yeah, people, people just hate we're each other. We're about to nuke Mars for no reason. Everybody's woke. Is that? <laughs> Everybody's woke. Everybody's woke. <laughs> Super woke people. So what's going on, folks? Yeah, Should man. We talk yeah, I think I think this is my last show. I, yeah. I've been thinking about it for a while. Like, I can't commit to a weekly doing like doing this weekly, and I just feel like I'm already a salty guy when we come in here sometimes talking about like what we watch. I just don't want to like hate wrestling yeah like we started this podcast to be like positive because there's so many negative podcasts out there it's not just wrestling too like i I have a lot of things that just about the world and just like people like just everything like um i've been watching a lot of chris d'elia stuff Uh on youtube yeah and i I find that he's like right about a lot of stuff like just when the stuff he makes fun of and just (laughs) how Way to blow, Chris D'Elia. Thanks for oh, fucking yeah. up our... We're <laughs> messing up oh, our friend. There we go. Yeah, now, now, I, now I hate We are you. no longer a family-friendly show. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just stepping away, really, from a lot of stuff. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And this is just one of them. I, I'd, I'd like to... Um, you know, maybe somewhere down the line, we can work on something totally different or something... something Sure. Yeah, whatever. I, Matt, Matt and I were discussing about possibly just doing something new in the future. Mm-hmm. And just planning it out and doing it the right way before we decide what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a day. Really? Like a lot of people. And do. um, uh, why well, you swore? Can I swear? Since he swore, no. Can we keep, I, I'll keep it clean. I mean, uh, don't go overboard um, with it because YouTube doesn't like it. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll say um, wildfire. The wildfire guys. It's it, they're a bunch. They're a scam, dude. <laughs> they're they're a bunch of shysters. And that left the bat. That whole thing left the bat taste in my mouth too. But, yeah, that bummed me up. You know what are you gonna do, man? Hmm. I hope they. Uh, you know, I hope they fail. <laughs> well, apparently, they are now. They're in uh, a studio. It's like half the size of my apartment, if not a quarter the size of it. <laughs> I, I, I see them not existing in another two years. I think that's a bigger issue I have. It's like it's like a lot of things. Like people present themselves as something like so glorious and like oh we're this top-notch high executive podcast studio and it's like it's not you know what i mean I it's think, not i think that, people buy into it <clears throat> and then they think they like you learn that it's just like a bunch of crap it's a it's sort of a like that fake it till you make it yeah. perception is reality sort of thing that i think that maybe the the podcasting networks try to try to because it's not just wildfire radio. It's, no, 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 it's, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a it's lot of all, things. All of the, the places that say their networks, like, I, I like saw this ad that came up in my algorithm, algorithm and blues, and it came into my. I used to honky talk, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going Valentine. I'm too what? tired for this. You can try 2020 20 more algorithms. I was gonna ignore it. I was gonna I it. It float right by. And just, so algorithms and blue, baby. This should be hard, baby. <laughs> so. So it came up and it was like, inspired, inspired podcasts. We're looking for the people that are going to make people feel good. And then they're like, apply to be a part of our podcast network. And you apply and at the end they're like, and you'll give us $250 a month. 
so you can put a good message out there to yeah. the world. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. But that's the thing too. It's like, it's like I don't mind paying money if they're do if they're doing stuff, if they're promoting us, if they're vid- if they're the ones setting up the video, if they're doing all this. Mm. Like the, the internet's down every week. The the phone lines are phone down. Lines not working. Well, they uh. Yeah, they, it's the new scam though. Like, you, like you have Podcast One, you have Westwood One, and a couple of the other big guys. But they're w. even they're even the scam. They're just jumping yeah. on the fact that everybody wants to do this. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, like Corey said, it's like, well, give us two hundred fifty dollars, yeah, a month, and we'll put you on our network. But then it's like now you're off on your own, unless you're someone big, and then they'll promote you because they're make they're making even they're making more money, money off, yeah, off of you. Yeah. That's why I was actually thinking I brought this up to Mark. Like I think maybe in twenty twenty we should just be strictly TikTok. Uh, we record the show and dude, we break bitch. it up. We break it up into, on the TikTok. Into one minute clips. <laughs> T- yeah, well, yeah, dude. 61 minute clips. <laughs> 61 or, minute clips. Yeah, like, we can always or do just a- the best of the show and then say, hey, well, you know, like, because I think TikTok, um, we'll get the younger audience, you know, the 12 year olds. We can always do Twitch, too, or something like that. We always do a lot I don't know how that works. Could, uh, I have no idea how that Twitch, works. Twitch would be live. Yeah. Twitch would be live. And then we, we can do it live on YouTube as well. Yeah, can we, can we do? Yeah, we can do stream. We can do Facebook. We can do. I think we can do Twitter now as well, or Instagram. One of those we can do live. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram we can do live. Yeah, I can do that right now. Just so. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's where I'm coming from. It's, mm. just, it's like these places want to make a living off of podcasts, so they'll present it that way, so they can make a living off of podcasts to make it appear as if you'll also make a living off of podcasting, but. Yeah, they're making a living off of you. They're making money off dreams. You're not. Yeah, you're dreamers selling dreams to dreamers. But at the same time, too, it's like those guys still have a full time job, and then it's like they're they're doing. They're they're not. They're not even. They're not even full time into it. They're just like right. They they, they want to be. They want to be like radio stars essentially, and get paid to do it. And a lot of places, it's really hard to do that when you're showing out whatever it is per week. You know, yeah. and, and not getting any advertisers and not being backed by the company that says, hey, we were supposed to back you guys and make something out of you guys. So it's rough. It's a it's a rough business, this podcast business that we're in. Well, it's also it's also like we're not Philly sports names. Yeah. So yeah. We're, yeah. None of us really have. A, that's a that's a scam, too. It's like the podcasts that do extremely well are already like, you know, have. A big name, probably, yeah, with it. Yeah. and they're probably getting they're probably getting paid, you know, to podcast for a network. Yeah. Like, ten ten, like, ten years know. ago, man, like or whatever, six years ago, when it right before it blew up or whatever, you could be a small person and build up. And now, what it is is now every you actor buy off the actor. Yeah, yeah, every now every actor, every athlete, everybody's got. And now ESPN, ESPN now does every single one of their shows. Is yeah. a pod- they just yeah, podcast it now. I put a podcast for them. That's why I think we should do something completely off the radar and like that's like what is we're like, so that's off never the radar done. that no one knows like, about us. We get like <laughs> we're, no, we're already off the, views. We're, we're already off down. the radar, but like something that's so out of the out of the freaking box, <laughs> outside of the box. <coughs> well, you, when you're saying we, and then you're leaving us. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm saying so like, guys, in no, my absence, I'm, just go nuts and do something outside. <laughs> do of something. Mind. Do something that no one else is doing, but without me. <laughs> me yeah. Well, I'm, no, I'm saying, I'm saying right now, like down the road, maybe if we, if it's we can not come, you, it's me. Yeah. If we can come to an idea, take some time off, dude. It's, just take some time yeah. off, man. Like. I understand, like, Westwood 1 left a... Or Westwood, I mean... Uh, I wish Westwood, yeah, Westwood side. Fuck you, Westwood 1. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're already cursing. We're already screwed on this. Yeah. Rick's going to have to bleep a bunch of stuff out. <laughs> um, no, uh, Wildfire really left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, like pretty much from the bat. Like, mm. it was just moving studios, and then, like, there was always these weird excuses. And then, like you said, the phone lines weren't working. Yeah. And inter- yeah. Then we're trying to upload the show, and there's no internet. They didn't pay yeah. the internet bill to even upload the shows, and and then there Rick, was always a problem. It's, Rick was yeah. working there, and they weren't paying him. But, and, and that was a scam. And I think they liked that. I think did they target you to be like, hey, you could produce your own show, and that way we don't have to have anybody there because we don't care. <laughs> no, you know but, what I mean? But, like, but pays it, the money like, to produce your own a show. CSB graduate. Yeah. So he's yeah. Like, he's like, hey, I know how to do some of this yeah. stuff. So so like I started yeah. off producing my own show. And they were paying me in the beginning, but I was just like, once a month, I'd be like, hey, you guys haven't paid me. And then like two months yeah. go by, I'm like, you still haven't paid me. And then they would pay me for 
like one month. I just you know, I just know from working, how they were working it. mom and pop bars, and usually when they're not paying, there's usually an issue. Mm. Like uh, I went was I worked at you know the bar I'm working at now. When that place was failing a couple times, I went. I think one time was a year and a half without getting paid. Like they owed me money. Oh, really? I was supposed to get paid twenty bucks a day, and they didn't pay me that for a year and a half. It's like, and I, every couple of months I would go up to him like you owe me this much money, and he's like, yeah, but I gave you two hundred bucks. So I was like, yeah, but when you owe me two <laughs> two hundred forty bucks a month, and then you only pay me once in three months, then the money it adds up. So the one day I walked out, I was like, you owe me fourteen hundred and eighty something dollars, and he's like, what? <laughs> I was like, it's like, yeah, that's this like, many seven months or whatever it was in a row. It's like, Ooh. yeah. Paul Heyman circa 2000. <laughs> Excuse me. Paul Heyman still uh, owes some money, I believe. <laughs> so should we go into that now? We're all like Venn and Matt's going to be leaving. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. can talk about wrestling since hey, we're here. Do we have to? <laughs> Jeez. Um, I, I enjoyed Raw this week. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess the big news out of Raw is... Um, Lesnar's going to be number Lesner's one. I, I like this a lot. I think it's I'm something it. different. Mm-hmm. You know, because originally I thought when... Charlotte announced she was entering, and my back of mind is like, okay, she's gonna draw number one and go all the way, mm-hmm. and when it like her like her dad like they'll do that whole thing. Right. Here's my here's what I think's gonna happen. Here's the hot take. Here's my hot take. Right. There's all these memes going around that it's 2011 again because you have Morrison's back. Yeah. Daniel Bryan has the short hair and everything. Sheamus has like the regular look. Mm-hmm. Here's what I think's gonna happen in the Royal Rumble. Lesnar's gonna m- maul through people, like you know, get down to the last, and I think number thirty is gonna be Cena. Okay. And I think Cena's gonna eliminate Brock, and it when the d- no. Here's my question: mm-hmm. If you eliminate Brock, like does the new winner become the new champion? They didn't. Ex- they didn't explain that. Whoever no, wins they, the, the Rumble itself is gonna be the champion. No. That's r- that's what I'm asking. Lesnar gets that's thrown out. The person who threw him out doesn't become the champion. It's right? whoever wins. Whoever wins the entire thing will then be. Did the they champion. say no, that the belt though. is not? No, the belt's not on the line. It's not. No, it's Lesnar's picking his own opponent if he loses, or if he wins rather. Uh, I think Cena's going to come back against me. Cena and Lesnar from 2011. Yeah, that's back. a possibility. Because who else? Uh, they're going to. I mean, the predictable route is going to be the King Vasquez. Who cares, dude? Or it's gonna be Tyson yeah, Fury. I don't. I don't the care rumor is Tyson that, Fury. The rumor is. I think that's gonna sh- crap the bed. Yeah, I mean I it's um. Bed. Uh, it does it, smell like like a diaper. I would like to uh to be diaper. somebody new, somebody like um like nobody expected Eddie Keith Guerrero Lee, to win. Keith Lee. Yeah, Keith Lee comes. <laughs> well, I would love ten, it ten, ten, ten. They're doing 10, 10, and 10. Like, yeah, that's that's what I've been talking about. I got a weird feeling Adam Cole is gonna be the one. Oh, that cool. would be cool. I would love to see if I was telling him if they bring all the guys up, if they bring all of undisputed up when Adam Cole like goes for the world title, like I could see Brock destroying the three guys and then Adam Cole hitting them with the Shining Wizard and they like, or they turn on Adam Cole and they become Heyman's guys and like Brock is the leader that'd be and then Adam Cole has to chase as the baby face dude, but he's the, too little. He he's, is. He's. Here, okay, That's dude. what I'm saying. He's all he he needs those other. Can guys. he drink like a gallon of milk a day to like pump some weight? Or like if he's okay, if he's vegan, like almond milk. Like, <laughs> is he vegan? Do you know that? I for don't sure? I have no idea. No. But some people might have digestive issues. <laughs> Maybe he's lactose intolerant. Yeah, okay, drink a gallon of almond milk. Just, just doing like one-handed curls. <laughs> he needs to, he needs to put on like ten pounds. I feel like. He, he, I don't know. I did a. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something and I'm like I'm not going to, but uh, no, I love Adam Cole and he was just uh, wrestler of the year. Yeah, so PWI. Was, love that kid. Was, he got PWI wrestler of the year also. Yep. Wow. Yeah. What a year for that guy. I know he's he, like on top of the world right now. He walked away with four awards in the NXT, mm-hmm. and then undisputed had five awards total, and now he's got P- wrestler of the year. <clears throat> that's that's pretty big, man. Especially mm-hmm. with the Okadas and you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I was telling Mark, I watched um, Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, did you? It was good. Here's my thing. Um, my takeaway from it was, I think, um, I, I watched, uh, was it Mysterio and Andrade on Raw? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so to me, and I watched Wrestle Kingdom, that match wasn't any worse than any of the matches on Wrestle Kingdom, in my opinion. That was, You know what I mean? Like, I think right. there's this... Mystique, where like, oh, Russell could like they're the best matches ever. They're good matches, but I think there's, um, what's the word, a bias mm-hmm. towards New Japan, Japan 
where WWE's putting on the similar like match quality yeah. matches yeah. every week, you know, despite all the WWE bad crap. As well. right. Here's what I'm thinking though. I think the WWE stuff is way too high def, and like the camera angle shifting and all. New Japan, the camera is just like straight up. Like, yeah, it's very raw. So I think that's better as far as the presentation. Also, I I'm in favor of they had um you know how they, they have the young boys. They have the LA Dojo now, and they have like the New Japan Dojo. Well, the the, the Greenhorns, quote unquote, I guess that's what they call them. They're opening matches, so they pick, they pull them with like a veteran and like six man or eight man tags. I like that, and I like their system where the students go on excursions. Like, do you know about this? They go on excursions to like the United States or Mexico, and they get over there first, and then they come back as oh, really? as as who they create for themselves. Mm. And I think WWE could benefit from that. Like, if they sign up a guy from, like, Earth, you know, students, they should go on these excursions to different countries. And then, like, the, the New Japan rookies just wear black boots, black trunks. Like, they don't have any personality whatsoever, just their name. And then they, they wrestle matches there, but they go on these excursions to, to find themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, um, what's his name? Takahashi, who wrestled, um, he beat Will Ospreay. Mm -hmm. He's an example. Like, he went on an excursion in Mexico, found his whole gimmick with the funky hair and pants and all, came back as like a star. And I think, um, you know, WWE's a little different, but I like that setup, man. I like that setup because they, they create their own stars yeah. from within. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, um, there's definitely a bias, though. I think what it is is because there's a lot of people, because WWE's on top, and they're like, oh, this big corporation, all these like little guys. We don't understand that New Japan is massive in yeah. Japan. It's not... Yeah. Yeah, they're the number two federation, but like you like go. They've to been Japan. around um, Remember. for 40, 50, No, since yeah. like the sixties well, or like, something. It's not like they're an. Yeah. It's not like they're an underdog. Right, right, right. right. New Japan's a big. It's just that there's an alternative. Yeah. So like. Yeah. WWE is Walmart. New Japan is Target. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I liked it though. I liked. It. I thought the Jericho. Um, uh, Tanaha, dude. Tanahashi. Tanahashi, he's he's a star, dude. Well, he's, he's your Japanese Hulk Hogan. He is. Yeah. He is. By the way, Hogan's rocking the beard now. I don't know if you saw that. No, I'm yeah. calling for a comeback with the, the shaved head <laughs> and the beard at WrestleMania. Do you think Hogan comes back in the Rumble? And, throw uh, Brock? This, no. Who's going to throw him out? He can't take the bump even going over to Rumble. Oh, by the way, I want to say, say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. Okay, I want to say this. Oh, All right, just say the Let thing. me just say this, and don't I'm talk. Scared. Don't talk until I'm done. Okay. Okay. Nobody say anything until I'm done. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear. I don't ever want to hear people trash Hogan for booking Beefcake with him. All these, you know, all these spots in the card. They trash Hogan for that. People trash Hogan all the time for bringing Beefcake into the different well, territories. Well, listen, I, I said don't talk. Friends with Hogan. I said don't talk. I wasn't. I well, wasn't did you I wasn't, see? Um, did you see <laughs> Doctor Luther show up on AEW? And people don't have a problem with that. He's Jericho's boy from Canada. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't see who, who's Dr. Exactly, Luther. too. Nobody knows who he was. People know who Beefcake is. But I don't want to hear anybody trash Hogan for, oh, well, he booked. Because people are saying, like, Beefcake main evented Starcade 94, and that was, like, a uh -huh. big, like, thing. People I thought were people were about. trashing Beefcake for that. They were trashing They're Hogan. They were trashing Hogan because he's Hogan's boy, brother. Yeah, but so what? Hogan, Hogan created, Hogan like, a living for people. For Yeah, yeah like, but people bashed like, him for like, it. Jimmy Hart. Nah, people the bashed him boys. for it. Yeah. Now Nasty Jericho's doing the same thing, and it's so cool. He helped people earn like, living. Yeah, he could say W He do one of these. <laughs> He, he really, you know what's funny about that? Who, who nobody knew who he was. I can't curse, but I can do this on. on yeah, I mean, no, we this. can't. Uh, can't All right, can't. whatever. Nobody knew who he was. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta have, a, have like a, a code, a code signal for that. Like, you can do this on YouTube. Dude. Can you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as long as you're real casual about it, <laughs> whatever. It's like it's throwing dice, dude. That's another thing. Nobody knew who that guy was. Nobody cared. People know who Beefcake is. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, I, I don't know. Beefcake. <laughs> Yeah, AEW had some really weird lows, and then that whole entire John Moxley bit was uh, amazing. That was dumb. I, I hated love that. I think well, Moxley's why not just say clown, no right off the top? I, I don't understand. He's a, he's a clown. He's <laughs> such a, I watched him in New Japan. He does this thing. It's like, dude, you're a clown, dude. You're a circus clown. Like, he's not cool. Like, he's he's going to be the biggest non-WWE star. What, what was I saying about him? I was saying, like, he's just a... 
cheese like cheese sandwich, dude. He's just a cheese sandwich. Cheese he's just real, dude. real, real. He, he's a clown. I like cheese sandwiches. Uh, he's a real I'll tell rascal. You what, I'll tell you what, he's I, a real rascal. What I thoroughly think? enjoyed the uh, private party and Omega and Adam Page. You know, you had the Dustin or Dustin and Cody versus. The, there's some good matches, but like, I loved. I was telling Mark, I loved the Dally's Place show. Because they didn't have the Dark Order and they didn't have the Midnight Society or Are You Afraid of the Dark? Are You Afraid of the Dark? Whatever, whatever they are. What are they? Oh, with Luther, that, the Nightmare Collective. That's Nightmare Collective. Oh, the Nightmare that's Collective. They, they throw the they throw they throw the yeah. cedar into the fire. They go. They didn't have submitted that. for the approval of the Midnight Society. That's, that's all cornball stuff. <laughs> and what's great is they honored Memphis talent, but like obviously they couldn't have Lawler because Lawler. So like, yeah. what's the point? What is the point? Speaking, of, speaking of Lawler, the local crowd. He's such a clown. Speaking of Lawler, did, why did they go back to making him a heel commentator? There's I think a, just because that's what he does best. Like, who the hell wants to look like, like a face Jerry Lawler? Like, yeah, he can't sucks be on commentator. He can't be a just weird how I just, think because maybe the other guy um, who's good, what's his name? Vic, uh, or what's his name? Joseph. Uh, Joseph. Uh, Joseph. Uh, Joseph. Maybe he's still trying to like figure out. Yeah, because I guess the other guy's gone. Dio, whatever his name he, was. Uh, he never came D- back. Dio. D- when there's lightning. <laughs> I saw on... Uh, D- no. Dio Shirai. <laughs> I don't know what's his name. Somebody's supposed to be replacing him. Dio Madden. <laughs> Dio, Dio Madden or something? Madden. That's what his name is. Somebody posted a, a picture. Well, he posted a picture on Twitter. Someone slammed after, doors. Uh, <laughs> someone slammed doors back here. After uh, Lesnar made that announcement, he should, should uh, picture himself Googling how to enter his number two. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Um... I, I heard somebody's going to be replaced, or someone's going to be adding on to the commentary team, but I forget who. Yeah, what did they do? Todd Pettengill oh, so or somebody. Tom Rob, Rob, Rob Bartlett. <laughs> Sean Morley. No, I said Todd <laughs> Pettengill. Oh, no, Sean, what was the kid's name? Tom Petty's dad. No, no, Sean Mooney. Sean Mooney. Oh, Sean Mooney. Oh, by the way, can we do who loses wrestling this week? Because I have two wrestlers. Yeah, sure. I have Let's two wrestlers it. this week. I'll do one, too. Can we do that now? Do sure. Know? We gotta do new theme music for that one. Oh, I gotta go up with a jingle. <laughs> and jingle. Look what's happened to this show. I can't believe in myself. Suddenly we've run out of ideas Couldn't think of anything else Believe it or not, who loses wrestling? I never thought it would come to this Will we agree? Did they really suck? Who could it be? Who loses wrestling this week? <laughs> Big Show is my uh, number one because that was the weakest comeback yeah. ever. But yesterday, uh, I was walking through the grocery store and I saw a Honeycombs box with Big Show on the cover. Good for him. He gets to be on the cover of a Honeycombs box. He's doing a lot. He's got a Netflix show I coming I had a out. Hornet's Nest. I could throw your head right now. <laughs> oh, Hornet's Nest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, dude, and what's this fist fight that's gonna take place? Yeah, next I, don't I don't understand what that is. Um, uh, it it, it would have been an okay comeback if they would have won. I yes, really thought, like why why did that end in a DQ? That, that well, was the same thing. Sense. The Usos came back. They wrestled last night and they got DQ'd. Yeah, because of Roman Reigns' big old bruised arm. Yeah, yeah. They got DQ'd because they're stupid haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> they went, I don't care about their haircuts. You you guys look like everybody else now. Disqualified. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This guy with his Tesla goatee, and he's gonna make fun of me. Oh man! Electrocute an elephant in the city. Oh, do you guys? T- so, who's your other one? John Morrison. Yeah, really? yeah, he was totally killed. Uh, like a John Morrison is such Nobody a talented cares. guy. Good. I'm sorry. I Except for he can't. He still, after all these years, cannot talk. Mm, yeah, and he, he was like pausing, like he was like Randy Savage, like when Randy <laughs> would have like trouble talking. Did you see the part where he like laughed? He like yeah. giggled. Dude, I uh. Was he super was, high? Is that why he had some I was watching him with Margo, and when he came out, I paused right on the audience when they paused. On, and literally, no, everybody was like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody cared. And she was, like, was oh, like, they, she was like, oh, they must not care about him. <laughs> I'm like, exactly. Because they just brought him in wrong. 
They yeah. totally did. Because everybody knew... They announced it like four months ago. That he was and they back. put him on the bump or whatever. Dude, who cares? <laughs> yeah, it was like... Yeah. It was yeah, like, that really got tr- that show. Stop over. trying to make the. Bump and then do you really want to yeah. see him with the Miz again? Yeah. I do. Like, I, I honestly do. do. I'm, I'm I'm jazzed about that tag team. They're gonna win belts too. Watch. Yeah, but nobody's gonna care about it because it's a tag team. But I mean, like I I enjoyed Miz and Morrison before, and I want to see them together again. But jealous. I just think to say, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, that stuff was great, man. And I I enjoyed the hell of it back then. I'm gonna enjoy it now. I just wish they would have brought him in I at forgot. the Rumble or something. I forgot the Kofi and. Big E were the tag champs. <laughs> yeah, the tag belts don't mean anything. They don't mean anything. No, 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 no. no but I, I was just saying, like, <clears throat> WWE just does not know how to bring people back anymore. Mm. And it's like, they, they want to push the bump, and they brought John Morrison back too early, put him on the bump, no, and they killed his entire momentum. Well, I think yeah. it has something to do with, like, <clears throat> wanting wanting to have that mainstream penetration, and yeah. that's, that, 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 that was like, um, they wanted to go like, Oh, Sports Illustrated broke the story. CNBC posted the story where this person's coming back and it's a big deal. Well, that's stuff's we're gonna cool. We're trying to make the bump mainstream media. And, doesn't and it isn't. And it won't be. What the frick is the bump? It's it's before, supposed to, before WWE, what was the bump? I don't I don't think it was a thing. I don't think it was a thing at all. I think they created it to make yeah, it I seem thought, like it was some kind of FM radio show. It's, it's a thing you get on your things when you sleep with a dirty person. Yeah. yeah. It's your thing, thing you get on your things. things. <laughs> Name that the episode. <laughs> the Dude. thing you get on your thing. Did you guys? Do you guys want to talk about? Did you guys hear about um, the Vori Golak? Oh yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. I heard that there was a thing. I didn't hear what it was. Um, okay, tell me what you know. I'll bring it up. You on Twitter? No, dude. you don't have to bring it. Just tell me what you think. Uh, like, what, uh, here's what I think. Uh, here's my bread. The, the, is the that a- Amazon Gulex? <laughs> Remember when Matt said the <laughs> Amazon Gulex because he was trying to say the Mason Gulex and he just. <laughs> And then forgot I'm, how to read there. Um, <laughs> so apparently he's a he. He likes kid diddling porn. Okay, I heard. And there's yeah. there's information where he Allegedly. went on dating a dating site, um, Snapchat with, with women asking them to like do stuff, like do you like do you like doing it with kids or animals or like really oh. weird stuff. And apparently Chikara cut ties with him, and then they were like investigating him. Yeah, the only allegation. So what, what do you know? So, oh, here's what I think. Yeah, the only, uh, the only thing, thing I, I know for sure about Rory Gulak is um, I met him once and I did not like him. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm good. I'm always good with the first impression of someone. I know whether they're a dick or not. And to me, I, I didn't like him. Um, I'm a good judge of first first impressions of mm-hmm. people, and that was my first impression. Because Scotty Dix texted me the information, and Anything. I texted him back. Yeah, I never liked that guy. So. Whatever. Oh, he was in the kid porn. It was. Drew Gulak was cool. I drove him home like one Drew. night, and he was like completely cool. I didn't. I didn't at the time. He might be different now. Oh, you know, him and I, both of them, I've had relationships that have gone from I don't like you to I like you to I don't like you to I like you. Mm-hmm. And both of them, I currently like both of them right now. Yeah. Um, for a, a time period, I both of them, I didn't like them. Like, they are a bit too arrogant for their own good. Yeah. And that was always an issue. Brody, when he was a fan, yeah. he was arrogant because he was right. a little Mondo. Right. So, it's like, they, 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 both of them ha- had a little too much arrogance for their own good. Too much ego, undeserved, yeah. unearned arrogance. And that was, that was an issue with me. I became friends with well, What about the child? <laughs> <I didn't like laughs> See, when, it, when it comes to that... It's all allegations right yeah. now. We don't know or anything for sure. Nothing sure. been. I, 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 never, I never say anything until it comes out. Right. I read on Twitter. Out. They were like, "Oh, the police are investigating." Are they? Have the, the police tweeted about it? Yeah. Uh, well, well, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and that's true. But and um, but I I think um, you know, I think it was a strong statement for Chikara to just cut, to cut ties. I, but maybe that's the that maybe that's just a normal move. Like, oh, okay, like if. That, yeah, Whether it's, it's true or not, like they're gonna do that anyway. Right. So. Like I hung, I hung, I hung at bars with Rory. Like we hung out in real life. Mm-hmm. Like as he's an adult, I didn't like him when he was a kid. We had our issues. Mm-hmm. Um, like I had a, I had a pretty good. What issues with, did you have with him? Um, I'll tell you this story. Um, Please. Should we do we need to know this now? Or? Uh, it was like <laughs> it was like the wrestling school, and every wrestling school has Chop Day. Mm-hmm. That's remember, so stupid. Remember Chop Day? Chop Day. It's like 
You line up, and everybody at the school that is How you. embarrassed it's, are you that like you actually took part in that? You're, right, exactly. I hated it. I didn't like it at all. But it was a part of what the, we the have to school. do. And somebody was like, hey, Was there a kid diddler day? <laughs> <laughs> no. We love. There so, are allegations of one, but... We love to say one. this. <laughs> so I didn't diddle any kids. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. So one of the other students had dared Rory... To spit in my face after I chopped him. Hmm. What? So, as I chopped him, he spit in my face. You didn't face. know it? Did no. You, know, you didn't know it? I didn't know that. As I chopped him, he spit in my face. And I chased him around the building. Did you spank him? And then... And then... <laughs> and then a DJ caught him. And, like, held his arms back. And I fucking hit him in his face. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you got a lot of bleeps to do this week, right? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to put it up and let it be demonetized. I was just, I'd be I, mad, too, I was, though, I was furious. You wouldn't be mad at this. Situation. I was like, regardless. You deserve to get hit in the face. Yeah. I was like, regardless of, regardless of what you think of me or what you don't think of me, you must respect this business. You must respect what I've done in this business, whether it's little or it's a lot. It's been longer than you've been alive. So... Yeah. You don't spit in other men's faces. No, you, tell you, them don't, about you it. don't. You don't. You don't spit on. You don't spit on anybody. That's well, you have to get consent. If you're really hot, you can spit in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so people pay to have that done. So yeah. Well, so I hit him in the face. A, uh, he there was a time I was on some <clears throat> trip with uh, Roy Gulak, and it was like Crossbones and a couple of the Chikara guys were going to some Captain Chikara. America bad guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, there's a wrestler named Crossbones. Yes. I like that guy. Me too. And uh, huh? What was his name? His real name? I have no idea. It was Crossbones. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's he used to train at the school with us. I liked him a lot. That's yeah. how I know. Dang, I forget his name. Sorry if you're <laughs> listening, Crossbones. Uh, hit me up. We'll it be was, friends. Oh, you know who it was? It was uh, Crossbones, Ace, so, and um, what was his name? Alex. I don't know. Sorry, God. Can I tell the damn Ace, story? Ace. You know what? <laughs> Rory Gulak is a dick. There. End of story. <laughs> so let's move no, on. I want to hear. I want to hear how you come to this. Some the story. The decision that he was a dick. <laughs> well, he did. He uh, he was in the car with us, and he didn't bring any money with him, and he just assumed that we would be okay with paying for him, and uh, we weren't obviously because he comes from like who did he come family. with in that group? Huh? Who did he? Who was he with in that group? It was like, who invited him. The um, we were all you know. Hey, you need a ride? All right, cool. Let's all pile out of the car. Like it was me. It was a. Uh, Ace, what was Ace's last name? Ace Dalek. Maybe, Ace Dalek. Maybe he didn't diddle kids. Maybe people just don't like maybe him. Maybe people just don't like him. Yeah, They're just like, you know what? I hear that guy diddle conspiracy. kids. Either he's way, ass. he's a dick. Anyway. This is a funny story. I'll tell you. And it, it sucks that uh, <laughs> Drew <laughs> go <laughs> on. You know no, I don't care. I don't care. Just are, you, are you done? Or, no. but I'm <laughs> still I'm sorry. Fine. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'll get this Let me just Let me just quick put a pause. Let me bend the ear on the page real quick. Then we'll get back to the page. It is a shame, I will say, it is a shame that Drew Gulak is like, I think he's proved a lot on the 205 and NXT and the roster, and now he's just getting like... He's getting the short end of the stick on SmackDown. But let me unbend that ear. <laughs> it's not, it's so not worth it No, now. this is the it's stuff people want to hear, dude. Um, the no, nuances. it was, it was uh, Ace Delic, um, Andy, uh, oh, was Sumner? Sumner, and uh, yeah, and me and Andy Dick. That, that's how I wanted to... <laughs> I'm just throwing that in there casually. I'm hoping you, that you hear the slamming doors on the show. Because <laughs> that's how we all feel, the slamming doors. We're just closing doors on Rory Gulak. But uh, Crossbones just uh, made him feel like an ass, absolute Good. ass Good. throughout the entire thing for not bringing any money and just assuming we were all going to pay for him. Good. Um, there was a... Ace, at one point, we stopped for, for, for food and Rory is now starving because it's the middle of the day. And, uh, he didn't he even say like, "Hey guys, let me get, let me pay you back on interest no, if you buy no, me a no. sandwich." No, no, no. Just assume we were all going to pay for it. Would him. you be okay with that if he said, "Look, let me pay you back on interest if you buy me a sandwich"? Uh, maybe, maybe. Is it like, I, I got these know. cool pictures. If you want to see, <laughs> no, <laughs> check out these. Check out my phone. I don't. No, no she's legal. But, uh, <laughs> so we stopped, and uh, Ace felt bad for him. We bought him like an apple pie thing at McDonald's, mm. and uh, he took a bite out of it. And Ace was like, "Dude, that looks really good. Can I get a bite of it?" And Roy's like, "No," and he like licked it so like nobody else would touch it. Man, Crossbones yanked that out of his hand, threw it on the ground, started stomping on it. He's like, "Dude, you dare do that!" Like he like called him out in front of like all McDonald's, like everybody's you know turning around looking at us. On the ride home, we stopped at Wawa. Uh, 
he got one of those bowls, like the mashed potatoes and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, bought like like just overly did it with like the food, just so like the smell would like fill up the car of like chicken fingers and like all this other stuff. Ate half of it when I'm like, man, I can't finish this. Threw the entire thing out the window. And Roy's just sitting there like with his mouth open. I'm like, I'm starving. Somebody help me. <laughs> it would have been a funnier story if I didn't get a Did he have times. like um, baby food with him? No. What? He should have been fed. Like a baby. <laughs> I think was. The thing, <laughs> the thing, dude, never before. I mean. Oh, um, I get it now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, on video, if you see me on my phone every two seconds, that's my job. Well, there's, con- there's <laughs> domestic abuse going on next door. <laughs> we so got, yeah, there is. We have to text the police. My, my neighbors. His, text, his the police. <laughs> text, 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 text the police. Text, text, text the police. <laughs> my neighbors like methamphetamine. <laughs> but, well, who does? I mean, I can't believe Universally. I have a prescription. It's called Adderall. Um, universally, I had never seen someone so. On meth? Bashed. <laughs> Bashed and hated in locker rooms. Uh huh. Like, then Rory Gould. Then Rory Gould. What about Drew, though? No, Drew was fine. Everybody always liked Drew. So, why can't Drew smarten his brother up? Like, hey, don't diddle kids. <laughs> his new theme song is Don't Cut My Drive in Two Pieces. Don't, don't be a kid diddler. Hard drive. Oh, Hard drive. Yeah. We are deep. I'm not, uh, no, I'm not, no, we're saying there's allegations, so we're not accusing anybody. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, I in, always in wait locker rooms. Well respected people have gone off on him a lot. Who was a Joker that uh, Joker choked him out? Joker yeah. or Joker? Jo- Joker. Uh, Joker. So what, what happened with that story, dude? Uh, with Joker, uh, I didn't see what happened. He, he mouthed off to him somehow, <coughs> so, and he just like took him down in, in the locker room, took him down on the floor, sh- like gave him like I a knee like, drop in the back of the head. I feel like it would take something would have to escalate to where you're mouthing off to somebody uh-huh. in a real situation. Like yeah. how, I, I just wonder how that escalated. Because why mean, does it like, need he, to escalate? He he was being a smartass. He was trying to like be one of the boys when he wasn't one of the boys. Like he and like he you was still green at the time, huh? You guys haze a lot. <laughs> <laughs> only only when the one deserved. Uh, what was he trying to be? How to be one of the boys? No, like, like, that, like he was he was he, he was um. Show you some pictures. No. Things, or? <laughs> no, he that's one of the accusations. Yeah, say what I'm trying to say. It was he. He was trying to be a part of the club that he hadn't earned being a part of. Yeah, you. he was still green. Right. Um, so, uh, so is he hated like CM Punk hated the Miz this week? <laughs> oh, did I you didn't see that. See tweet? that. Oh. I heard about it. I didn't see it. You should just say it. What, what did at this say? point, Mark? He. <clears throat> so the Miz went on uh, expletives. W- whatever uh, that's the stu- bump. Not the bump. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> The backstage, backstage, or whatever you know, the, the one where you get on your thing. Cares about. The one with Booker T and, and Page, yeah. And, yeah. and he turned Back around page. and said, like, uh, he made something like how he was like, I think this is a you know great show. This is a better show. He's like, you know, sorry to change the culture, and he just said that at the end, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he was taking a shot at Punk. Yeah. It's a good shot. And then Punk turned around and told him, he's like, suck a dick with your blood stained, like, whatever. Saudi money. Or Saudi whatever. money, yeah. Like, uh, it's just, and then I guess, I guess Fox forced Punk well, to pull the tweet down. Like, that was a bitch like, move for him well, to pull the tweet. He's like, no, I'm not pulling the tweet. Hmm. I'm not pulling the tweet. Uh, I mean, he's got a lot of money on the ladder. Right yeah. Now. Is I he mean, guaranteed? Uh, through no. Fox. Fox is paying him. WWE's yeah. not paying him a yeah. time. Uh, it's, it's not, it's, <sighs> Not important for you to say about the bloodstained Saudi money. You can just say, hey, dude, you suck. F you. Yeah, you can say you're a dick. Like, yeah. But he needed to get that message across <laughs> where <laughs> yeah, right. you took money from the, like, the Saudi government. Like, you know. <laughs> well, you'd understand if the theme was coming for your family. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Don't have a family. <laughs> oh, I heard about that. I didn't get to see it. Oh, no. On, uh, <laughs> on Biggie. Yeah, he's nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't have a family. <laughs> he's a trip. Living large. <laughs> Big he's a trip. Uh, SmackDown stunk, by the way. Like, watch That's it from right. top to bottom, yeah. with the exception of The Fiend. The Fiend is carrying that entire show. Yeah. And Daniel Bryan, yeah, but like... Uh, they need to move on from The Miz and... Uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, Roman Reigns and... Um, Baron Corbin. Corbin. They need yeah. to move on from that. That's dumb. It's stupid. And You're taking a dump. I have no toilet paper. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just don't use my face rags, and I don't get upset. Um, I'm slowly waking up here. Uh, yeah, SmackDown, like they need to move away from that. Mm-hmm. Um, they need, I guess, 
they're going to pull the trigger sooner or later on the, the Otis Mandy Rose thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully. Because now it looks like they have like, f- there's like two or three storylines tied into that. Because mm-hmm. now you have Sonya Deville's angry because Mandy's too obsessed over her. Not her notice, but then she's like chasing after Ziggler, or Ziggler's chasing after her. Mm. Which, that's the stupid stuff that they would, are supposed to be doing on Raw that yeah. would have been way better than that whole Bobby Lashley yeah. Lana wedding. Because like, Otis carries the whole entire thing. It's just, yeah, it's, Otis is so money, dude. Because his personality, you, you, put, you put all these people on for the Lana thing, and the only person that has personality is Rusev yeah. and you made him angry the whole time and you needed his his almost like he's actually a really funny dude I think his comedy would have carried that storyline better if they did it differently did you see the footage of uh, the security attacking the the, the uh, I heard it was fake priest or whatever was it? I heard it was fake really? I think it's, to make that guy look like a clown yeah they jumped him pretty good did they, I, I did that even make air? cause I heard I didn't heard about it like the next day like I didn't see it when it was when it was on TV. Apparently, like, there's an angle from uh, the show where, I forget, somebody's leaving the ring, which is the guy supposed to come up, I guess, during a commercial break. Yeah. But you can see, you can see, like, security get on top of him on the outside mm. from whatever angle, whatever video. I think it was when Brock Lesnar's leaving. Or something. The ring. Yeah. He got but, in a little too early. Yeah. I'm excited for Royal Rumble weekend with uh, the, the Worlds Collide. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Did you guys catch NXT at all yeah. this week? Yes. Uh, Tony Storm coming back was awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad she's back. And I, yeah. I'm hoping they move her. I, I mean, UK desperately needs people, but I'm hoping they move her onto the main roster. Do you think they eventually merge the UK? Because they're going to need they need a big... I think they need a big star on that UK show. Bigger than Walter. Someone to like challenge Walter. You know? Well, you know, I heard that Walter doesn't want to be on... The main roster. He, does, he doesn't want to move to the U.S. <coughs> <coughs> they had, Triple H was on like a media call and he was explaining that. Because I think Walter's a star. Oh, yeah. but he, he said, he's like, yeah, I I'm not interested in going to the main roster. He's like, frankly, like, I don't want to move. Well, he's one of those guys. He's got a name in Europe and he is a big, he's, he, he's a draw there. Like, we may, we may not see it because a lot of Americans don't know who Walter is yeah. unless you're like, you know, an indie nerd. Yeah, like you I would pay you know, I would pay Buko dollars to um, <coughs> Davey Boy Smith Jr. and Teddy Hart to go to NXT UK. What is Buko? Buko? Buko. Buko. A lot of money. A lot of dough. Is, what, is that like Japanese? <laughs> is, it, is it another language? <laughs> what is what, I mean, that, that would be oh, huge. I drink Sam Buko. I play, I play Sudoku. That's who that's I would get. Have you guys been watching Teddy Hart's YouTube, tra- YouTube channel? Oh, oh you told I me about that and I didn't get a chance it's, to watch it. Dude, it's, him and Maria Manic. Dude, there's a the latest video. It's called... It's called prison training, and it's Teddy Hart, this fat dude who I guess they're staying with, and Maria Manic, and Teddy Hart's teacher in a box. Teddy Hart legit looks like he knows how to fucking throw hands, but he's literally just punching the shit out of Maria Manic, and it's like, it's fucking like he's he's nailing her and like fucking. It's, I don't know, man. You guys watch it for yourself. You're going and real liberal with this F word today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, he's like really... You need a massage. <laughs> <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys ever met Maria Maddock? I think you need better, better friends. Maria Maddock used to be in ECWA when she was first starting and yeah. she was terrible. Is she yeah. somehow better now? Because no, I keep on hearing just, her name. She's just like on on the gas and like okay. and like does deathmatch stuff. So she's getting booked more. She just signed to Impact or Ring of Honor, one of them. I think so, Ring of Honor. So she like made her name mean more. Uh, I don't. I mean, I'm sure she's improved. I I've just not watched any of her stuff. But I know she. I, I saw her at, like Cage of Death a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, Did she say hi? Yeah. What'd she say? Uh, Who are you? She, 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 <laughs> get lost, loser. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, she she is. Uh, I mean, nice, real nice. Dumb, very dumb. <laughs> one. Terrible. One of the dumbest people I have. Woman hater. He hates women. Uh, <laughs> so do you women. think at this point nobody's touching Teddy Hart? Teddy Hart's pretty much untouchable because he, he's just such a problem. He's always a been shame. a problem. He's a very talented dude. He's charismatic. He's just a problem. He was, but I haven't heard anything when he since he's been in uh, MLW. He just carries his giant floppy cat around. And did you <laughs> did you work for Delco Pro? Yeah, it's like Keener and. Ron Star shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the shows she was on. Okay. And out back where people were like 
hanging out all the all the people. I remember the story. Yeah. Uh, there was a bird on the roof, and the bird dropped a dead squirrel right in the front of everybody. Mm-hmm. And there was just dead squirrel there in the in the parking lot so in front of us all. When you say a bird, we're not talking like a chickadee. You're talking about like a hawk, a probably. Big ass bird. Yeah. You know when you're <laughs> big, ass, one of them, big ass bird. One of them. <laughs> a bird. So there's like birds everywhere, here, like this big. It like, just picks up a squirrel, throws it at her. A large like, bird of prey <laughs> dropped a dead a squirrel. Deuce. Right in front of us all, and um, <laughs> and then I went back inside. It was this, a, right. I was, I, I had stuff I had to do. Came back out, and like it was like me and Missy were sitting there, and then <laughs> Maria came out. She was outside, and she was like, "Oh, the the squirrel's not there anymore. Maybe it, maybe it got up and flew away." And Missy's like, squirrels She's not don't... wrong. Yeah, there are flying squirrels. Yeah, but not they, dead squirrels. They, like, glide from tree to tree. They don't get up and rise from the ground after uh, being dead. Down south, they call them sugar gliders. Sugar gliders. <laughs> Missy was like, honey, that was a dead squirrel. It's not flying anywhere. He just starts flapping. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you need to check out those videos, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do, yeah. But I'm a, that's a shame, dude. That's a shame about it. You know, her being dumb? Or? No, Teddy Hart. <laughs> oh. Corey Castle. Just nobody... Well, no, I, I just want to know if nobody will sign him. Like, that sucks. That does suck, because he's good. And I would love to see that trio. Well, there... I mean, there is... Um, I I see Pillman and Davey Boy coming in WWE sometime soon. Mm-hmm. I don't ever see Teddy coming back. Well, there is there is that whole like shady element. There's the whole like allegation stuff against yeah. him. One ter- one one time you make a turn one way and he's being blamed for this. One time you turn this way and he's getting blamed for this. One time you diddle so, kids and then your friends are talking about throwing apple pies on the ground and <laughs> stomping on it. <clears throat> there's like, something about something about like I'm kidnapping. <laughs> something yeah. about something there's always something cons- like Around Teddy Hart, that that will always block him. Which that's a shame. Dude. I I've hung out with Teddy. I think he's a good guy. I don't know. I mean, I don't. Um, I never hung out with Teddy. Corey <laughs> doesn't let me hang out with wrestlers. <laughs> Ash will let me hang out with wrestlers. Where's Ash? I don't know. Nobody knows. I haven't seen him. Is he still part of Capital? He is. I'm not. That's a shame, man. That's For the company. What's up? For the company. Uh, yeah, well, look, here's the thing, man. Well, I don't trust people who hang out with people who say they're seven foot tall and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Here, here's the thing. <coughs> um, I feel, I, I, I'm not angry. I wasn't really saying suck it. I was just really like, hey, um, I got other stuff that I want to do in my life. And, I mean, I, I don't want to be an accessory to an accessory here. Like, my talents aren't being utilized, and I'd rather be utilizing my talents somewhere that's willing to work with me than somewhere where I'm not appreciated. So then I'm just taking a break from it. I didn't say I'm gone. I just said I'm going to take a break. So uh, for the foreseeable future, I will not be at Capital Wrestling. Okay. I thought Good you just... for you, dude, because you know what? I don't trust people who associate with people who claim that they're friends with some <laughs> people and they're not. So good for you. So Daniel Bryan pulled a dead rabbit out of a fucking box. <laughs> they they a rambling rabbit? <laughs> yeah. I purposely work. avoid talking about it because I think the whole fiend thing is... Yeah, I know you don't like it. I love it. I think it's great. I um, think the the whole the the, the box the cage thing with Eric Rowan. With Eric Rowan, yeah. That, what, what, I, like, I where's that, that, where is that going? I don't, I don't know. know. The guy's face is red after he looked into it. He, so it wasn't rambling rabbit in that. No, in that there case? needs to be. It like, should just be a, a there vagina. Needs to be a, a vagina, yeah, like a bloody vagina, or that, like what was this ninety seven? I don't know what's like, happening. Here. That's well, think, that's what they're doing. We're, it's going to be something in there, dude, that bleeds. It needs to be a dead squirrel. That what flies. is it going to be? <laughs> no, like those those like ba- those like balls with the squirrel tails on them. They used to sell at the yeah. mall kiosks. That's yeah, what I think is going to be. Like it. Freaking out. A bunch I don't know, th- dude, that whole thing is stupid. I told yeah. you, what's going to happen is they're going to put it in the ring, and there's going to be a, it's going to be a trap door underneath it, and then someone's going to come out of that cage, a full person. I'm telling you. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be some wrestler or female wrestler, and they're going to come out of that cage, like, full, full person. It needs to be, like, a mutant animal or something like that. Like, a 300. I still 300. think it's a mask. I was saying, um... 
It's the land. There's something they can do with No Way Jose. All right. <laughs> Uh, do you remember the Cuban it's assassin? Like anything they could do with no, it was like, no. The wrestler, the Cuban assassin. I from, he was Cuban big assassin. from like the 60s, the 80s. Mm-hmm. They should just make No Way Who's Jose the new Cuban. Like he comes out in the camo and the fatigues and he's like, I hate America. I love, I hated John Kennedy. I love Cuba. <laughs> I was say, like, you can't really do that gimmick anymore because it's more like, please come to our country. We open the doors. We need tourism. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, something, but he should come out in fatigues. That's my point. Or the, the or current gimmick is not have, working. So. Or they can just have extras follow him to the ring and dance every time. Yeah. And then he'll be like trying to tell him to stop dancing. No way! Stop dancing! No way! Stop dancing! Um, that's all that you could do with No Way Jose. It's a shame. He's actually really talented. Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah. great in NXT. What happened to his green his green extensions? It wasn't wearing? working, brother. Why did, why did he stop doing the green extensions? <laughs> that wasn't working. Did we so talk about no. Hogan's nah, beard nah. yet? No. I think we didn't huh? talk about that. You know what? That. Mojo Raleigh doesn't have the paint on his face anymore, either. Yeah. No. What, did, but he's so, what does he wear? <laughs> Who? Did, you're telling me... You are telling me there's nobody backstage... That can walk up to him and look him in his eyes and say, "Dude, you look like an asshole." You no, because it's straight up like Sasha an asshole. Banks' husband, and he's the one designing the costume. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's... Oh man, he's on he's on up up down down a lot. He's he's actually a pretty funny guy. Yeah, dude. Uh, I've been on shows with that guy back in the day, and he was what, what was it Kam- Ka- Ka- Kamikaze or something like that? What was it? Kazi was. It was one of those names. Like, that Kazi, like something. Like that. That. I, and if has. somebody did have that conversation with him. Then he needs to make a known when he's doing the promo. Like, guys, don't worry. Somebody did confront me. I like it. I like this outfit, and I'm wearing it. That's what needs to happen. I'm comfortable I'm in I'm comfortable this in it. I think that should be his gimmick. He wears that. He's like, hey, I'm who I am. I'm comfortable in this. Did you guys Shorty see? Shorty already doing that. Let's on, go wrestle. On, on New Year's Eve, they right. him, uh, New Year's Eve, that whole thing, um, they did the Gronk at Times Yeah, because his boys Square. with the Gronk. And Gronk they, at Times Square, like... I watched some awful. of it. It was awful. I hated it. And like they did a gimmick where uh, our truth, our truth, like lost the twenty four seven championship as the ball was dropping or some something uh, like that. Did they know. ever have the match? Did they have the match? They're supposed to have a match with Roman Reigns and like <laughs> no some idea. Dolph Ziggler. Oh yeah, it happened before I started watching it. Uh, like I was in the I was oh. in the bathroom can, can we say that as he was if, doing the promo you, happy new year and stuff yeah. if you slam someone on the table and the table doesn't break please stop trying to break the table afterwards please yeah. stop trying to break the table afterwards it didn't break it, it looks, looks real worse break. when you yes. slam the dude on the yeah. table <laughs> like it, I'm is, saying it looks better it looks like better like oh shoot like yeah. that table yeah. it hurts a lot more as well didn't like that dude. okay we gotta do we're doing this now well, 51 minutes, so we gotta do Who Wins Wrestling now? Mm. Alright, let's do Who Wins Wrestling. And uh, Jingle. Who Wins Wrestling? Blah, 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 blah. I'll go with. <laughs> you know what? I'm loving some of these NJ. NJ. F. MJF? NJ PW? Oh, New no. Japan? I like had a uh, stroke there for a second. Yeah. It um, as if that happened. Ibushi, Tanahashi, Takahashi. Um, I'm liking Zack Sabre Jr. I never actually he's watched amazing. him wrestle before. He's absolutely amazing. And he's not a flippy flopper. He's a technical guy. Um, he's good. But you know what? Out of all those guys, my winner of the week is Hulk Hogan. He, <laughs> he, he had the surgery. He grew a beard. He has a beard now. I'm telling you, man. He just had the back surgery. He's been, he's been episode, texting, why he's been be texting Vince. WrestleMania 36. That's all the text message says. I think he's going to shave his head, grow out a beard. Mm-hmm. He's going to say, you up, bro? And he's going to he's gonna main event WrestleMania, dude. He's going to eliminate Brock. Brother, brother, I you would up? see him maybe in the uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. That's about it. <laughs> I can't. I mean, well, why he can't... could body slam the trophy. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> They're in Tampa this year, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that Tampa. means. That's where Hulk Hogan lives. lives. That's where he lives? I thought he was from Venice Beach, California. His, that's where he has his... I think he's going to be the new, the new NXT. He's going to be the new NXT coach. Tampa area. He's going to be the um, coach in NXT. Yeah, Vince is like, you know what? I didn't think he could wrestle, but you live around the corner, so... <laughs> All he needs we'll to do is, is, the, is the big boot. The big boot and the leg drop or body slam. Mm-hmm. Who, do you, uh, who do you got? Um, I, think, I think, like I said, the... Um, I was watching Hulu, and it may have went back a week. 
Okay. Uh, so this might be from last week, and I wasn't here last week, but I'm going to say uh, it's a tie. Okay. Uh, Buddy Murphy and Aleister Black. Mm. Great. Yeah, Woo! yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Woo! Gosh dang! <laughs> they, 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 there's something special between us two. They've been two. counting, yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Did they announce any kind of like a... Uh, like kind of finish to the match, yeah. Like, tuxedo, there, there, are they going a tuxedo off? match? A tuxedo, <laughs> tuxedo match. Uh, like, are they fighting at the Rumble? Do we know? Has that been announced or anything yet? Mm-mm. I want to see. I, I'm, they can wrestle on uh, the Buddy Murphy. Times, the last thing is he attacked Alistair Black with, with the chair. Yeah, and he did like the cross-legged thing on the. Yeah, I saw that. That's the last. Thing. Uh, for me, it's Keith Lee again. Yeah, yeah that uh, that match was great on NXT. He's going for the North American Championship. Was it next week or next? Is that a Worlds Collide or is that? I don't, I don't know if that's going to be next week. Yeah. It's two weeks. It's two weeks. Okay. I don't know why two weeks, but it's two weeks. Two okay. weeks. Two weeks. Probably because they're trying two to pop a rating. Weeks. Oh, is that when the Bash the Beaches? I don't know. Keith Lee's <laughs> going to win that. I, I got a feeling Keith Lee's going to get his first belt. You said something I forgot, and he was actually going to be my runner-up. Hmm. Moxley's actually my runner-up, because I like that bit. You guys can hate it. I like You're my guys. <laughs> 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 I liked it. I enjoyed it. I've been enjoying everything Jericho's been doing. I can do hardcore stuff now, but I'm a clown. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can do hardcore stuff. <laughs> Where's Joey Janela been, dude? Why do you care? I hate Janela. I think. I think oh my god! I, hate the guy in the I think he's probably injured again. He's... Who do you hate more, Joey Janela or Vori Gula? <laughs> uh, Joey Janela's never done anything to me personally. So, oh. well, he did no show our podcast. So, who rins wrestling? Is <laughs> who who rins wrestling? Who rins? Uh, I'm going with MJF. Yeah. Uh... The whole Diamond Dallas the thing. DDP thing, yeah. Well, he's, DDP's like lecturing him. He's sitting on his cell phone. He actually sent tweets out yeah. while <laughs> the Diamond Dallas page was tweeting him. He called. He said they were going to put him in hospice. Like he's right now is like he was super overboard when he got there, and I think they're like I said, he needed to refine himself. And I think he's getting to that. He's starting to figure out where to go. Yeah, and he's he's the best heel on AEW. What's it? AEW needs to get rid of that. Cornball stuff, man, and just I'm telling you that Dally show is great. The they, wrestling they is really good. They need stuff. to work on their. Uh, they need their to work on their program. women's division. Yeah, women's yeah, division. yeah. Women's yeah. It doesn't make yeah, any sense. And it's a shame they have a lot of talented girls, and it's just it's garbage. Yeah. By the way, we didn't talk about this, and I know we're, we're getting the show, but they have Tolly and Arn. Why aren't they doing something with them together? I don't know. Just a thought. I don't understand why Arn's with Cody. Why, why does he need, why why does he need with, a coach? Yeah. A coach is, like, save the coach for, like, Ooh. the rookie. Yeah. 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 Whatever. I think it, everything is like, so let's talk the, about your dad. <laughs> Can we just please talk about your dad? Well, now your dad's not around. We're going to have Arn Anderson act like your dad yeah. on the show. And, and what do you think your dad would be saying right now if he was right here? <laughs> and you, your dad? Are you my new dad? <laughs> yes, son. I want you to work to Arn. Cody, to stop talking about his dad, I'm fine with it. Like, I just want to give you my spot, kid. <laughs> uh, it's not the dog spot. <laughs> I'm not giving you a spot. I'm giving you my spot. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we, we have to talk about Matt. I'm, I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like I said, I'm open <clears throat> to... I think there's something to do creatively. We just got to figure it down out. The we got to figure out what that is. Okay. And I can't, like, I just can't, like... Commit to, because I start feeling bad. Where it's like I, I don't, want, I really don't want to do it, or I can't, or whatever. And it's, yeah. it's hard. It's, it's, it's been a hassle lately with the whole wildfire thing. And I understand. Like me and Mark were talking earlier. Yeah. It's like, man, this podcast, podcast is becoming more of a like a job to do that you have to do every week rather than something fun for all our friends to do. Um, so I, I get it. I get why you're leaving. Uh, you're welcome back anytime. Uh, I gotta talk about because me and you started this together. This was our yeah. podcast in the very beginning at uh, the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Right. Uh, Corey sh- started showing up every single week, so we we brought him on, and then Mark started showing up every single week, so we kept him on, mm. and then um, you know it just grew from there, and it was I it's been great. I to be on a lot. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> 
it's it's you know it it, it like to, it totally evolved into Mark being like, oh, you know what you guys should do for your show. You know what you should do for your guys' show. And they're like, you know what we should do for our podcast. Like, it just quickly turned from your guys' show to our show. Yeah. yeah. Um. There's been a lot of uh, really fun times with Matt. Uh, Dick Pear was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, where it was just like some random. Like Ric Flair wannabe who cleaned pools. What, what was the car that he was driving? A PT Cruiser. A PT Cruiser. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, I was hard. I never came up with more material. But it wasn't supposed to be like it was just. It wasn't supposed to be a weekly cup. thing, yeah. right? It was yeah. just like something that was fun where we, you know, we ran with it. The, the broadcast beef cake. The broadcast beef cake thing was great. Um, uh, do you remember the- um, who did who did we have on the show where we asked him one question? And then he talked the whole fucking show. Oh, Tony Rica. Tony Rica. Oh, my God. He jobber, wrestled, WWF yeah. jobber from the 90s. Russell Hacks Jim Duggan once. And then <laughs> talked about his daughter for like 30 minutes and how she's like an Olympic or yeah, trampoline yeah, 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 yeah. person or something like that. That was That was terrible. Oh, my God. I, I wasn't a part of the show yet. I thought no. That was bad. That was a good I time. Know, man. I, I had a lot of fun. Me and you, dude, some of the stuff that's coming out of your mouth. The whole starting the whole Drew Galloway shower thing. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. It was probably some of the most fantastic. fun. Uh, <laughs> I think no matter what, uh, Lanny Poffo. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my you and, God. You I, and Burke laughing about it. I have to oh, go. My, my turtle flipped on its back. Uh, <laughs> just the dumb excuses we were coming up to get him off the off was so <laughs> funny. Oh, my God. I, I like my Probably like my top... Like most ridiculous thing I ever heard was Matt Bomboy trying to take credit <laughs> for um, the, the Bullet Club. The, the Bullet Club T-shirt was the most <laughs> the silliest thing I ever heard of. So thank you. If you talk to him, say thank you because that was the silliest moment I ever had. He went hardcore. Life. Believe that. <clears throat> um, well, it's the fact that um, you know Ash is book the uh, book, book the fake set of photo. <laughs> That's, that's when I stood next to him in the urinal and I was five You're, inches taller. Than you were in the urinal. I was in, standing next to him in the same urinal and I was, the I same was looking down. You're sharing a urinal. Well, you have you have recording yeah. you have a recording equipment yourself, right? I have um I have a little mixer. Yeah. I was thinking I was thinking you know like while you're taking your time off, you ever have anything you want to vent or something like that? And you want to do like, you want to do like a five or ten minute like little soapbox and then just send it to Rick and be like, put this on the show. Yeah. That would, that would be fun to have you come on and do something like that for now. That'd be cool. Until you... Because, like I said, we were talking about it earlier. Um, I could probably use a met I have a phone recorder, too. Like, on my phone. Yeah, that's fine. You know, it's, it's, not you the best audio, it's not the best audio, but it's not that's the worst. That's fine. Yeah. Um, you don't have to do it, like, every week or anything. It's just, yeah, like, when you got something in your mind, like, you know what? I'm going to vent about this. If I'm watching minutes. something, maybe I'll just do, like, a quick... Like, if, like this is a Hulk Hogan. This is terrible. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, dude, there was that, um, when we started, for some reason we were talking about the movie Overboard, and you put it to Hulk Hogan's theme song. Oh my god, I remember that. Uh, it was I like, forget. if you want, you know, you, <laughs> when you spend your life making closets for women's <laughs> shoes, <laughs> da, da, da. you did like the whole song, and made it about Overboard, so you throw her in the water, and uh, <laughs> tell your wife. That's the other one hilarious. you guys did the, the uh, I, I want to say something real quick. Cake Road. This, oh um, my God! The Springsteen Pancake Road thing. Pancake Road, the whole episode, the oh whole musical, Rassel Rock the musical when you guys yeah. just kept yeah. singing. Oh my God! I kind of feel like too. Um, I don't want to keep this going, but you just brought up something to where like, I think um, I'm sure I said something that, that people would claim was offensive at that song at some point. You know what I mean? And I think that's an issue where, um. Like, I mean, I'm sure you do it all the time when you do stand-up and you're in that community where, like, a lot of people are just getting mad at, like, like everything. everything. And it's, like, I know a lot of my comedy sometimes, a lot, all of it, all of it's off the cuff. Like, that's, I think, a, a gift I have from God where it's, like, off the cuff and then it's, like, something stupid. Like, who, what the fuck is, he's singing Hulk Hogan Overboard, whatever. But, like, I think people get offended by that and I have an issue with that and it's just, like, well... It's just something stupid and silly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or it's, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's a few. People just get there, aff- like. People get offended a lot. You can't let like, you days. can't let your fear of offending someone stop you from having a voice. 
all together. So of course you're gonna you're not gonna be for everybody all the time. Yeah. And like I fear I fear this in my own podcast. Like something I said in a podcast like two weeks ago, I feel bad about it, and I know it wasn't even offensive to anybody. So like, are you picking that up? So, no, it was like, um, I, was I was telling the story about, I was telling the story about being at a comedy club, and somebody in the back was interacting with the comic on stage who was a black comic, yeah. and he was like, you live in Philly or are you from Jersey? And the guy was like, Jersey. And he's like, toll or easy pass? And the guy said, easy pass. I'm white. And I was like, what the, f there's no stereotype <laughs> that exists that black people don't have easy pass. <laughs> Well, he I was just like, created I was like, you just created a stereotype. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, you're making us all look bad. And then I was like, thinking about it later, and I was like, I don't want to be in us. Don't make me white people. Don't make me the voice of everyone. You are white. So <laughs> you are white. So I hate damn to white. tell you. So uh, you yeah, a girl black. with blue hair. You're so white. <laughs> so white. But Matt, I want to thank you, man, because dude, there's a bunch of times, man. You made me laugh my ass off, dude. <laughs> we ripped yeah. on a bunch of goofy stuff. Yeah. And, you know, the, thing, the whole thing about wrestling is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, you know. He said, I was telling him, like, we were talking about doing the new intro because of me saying 2019, the last one. And I wanted, if you are still on the show, I wanted when you were screaming at me over, over Survivor Series <laughs> to admit that I hated the blue and red shirts, <laughs> which made me laugh so hard. I was like, I don't care. You're like, you do. Admit it. You're just screaming at me. You hate the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it there's a lot of times, man. It's you know, but dude, it's a shame this thing like didn't become bigger. I know. I like I don't know. I don't know how to make it. We bigger. got close. Like like we got close for a while. Unless we get like we can get there again. Cody Rhodes or somebody to be on it, like like as a host or something. You know, like I don't. What? Not, not him. He's a lead. Yeah, I don't. He like doesn't that. even own his own last name. I do, but <laughs> somebody Hulk Hogan. You know anybody? Triggered. Rudis BK. Triggered. <laughs> Here, here's the thing, dude. Um, just because you're taking a break doesn't mean we're taking a break from our friendship. No. Um, no, no, no. We'll see you again. Like, Marvel. It's like, you know, you know some movies ever the credits and yeah. they stay on the screen of somebody and it says, like, Matt never saw Mark again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Rich became a, you know, whatever. Well, we're, we're, we're in our 30s and we've been friends <laughs> since we were teenagers. Yeah. So that's something that I, I'm, it's very precious to me. And I mean, it's going to suck that I don't have an excuse to see you every week. And that's why, like, when I talked about at some point moving away from here, I'd be like, that would be what I miss the most is seeing you guys every single week. Yeah. Because this is a good excuse yeah. for us to see our best friends every week. Like, I love that. Uh, we still have yeah, excuses. Insane. We just need more excuses to see each other now. Yeah. We have to make other legitimate reasons to see each other. <laughs> well, we than still have to do Joker. Yeah, like, exactly. Well, I, like, I'm, we. Like, we have moments where we just go to the movies or go get ice cream or something. Cool. Let's do that more often. Well, That's you can see me at the Institute Bar, 525 North 11th Street in Philadelphia, PA. That's where you guys can come see we'll me. We'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see me in my YouTube channel. I just updated the, the channel art. Dude, you, got, you hit over 1,000 subscribers, didn't you? I still do. I'm saying though, like, I yeah, still, no, like, he didn't say like <laughs> past tense. Do. I used to, but I still do. Too. You were like shocked out of nowhere, and then all yeah. of a sudden, what is oh it no, it's still it's up. It's a uh, uh, hundred. No, I'm sorry, a thousand eight hundred something now. Wow. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred subscribers. That's another way to say thousand eight hundred. And if you're listening to this right now, if you're watching this uh, YouTube video. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe. You can thumbs down it if you want. That's fine. That's your I'd choice. I'd rather you didn't. You can thumbs down this video. Thumbs down every other video that Rick posts. No. As long as you're subscribed, it doesn't even matter. Don't say yes, it does. It does. It doesn't matter. It, does, it matters. If it what is, is, so wait, what, what is Twitch? Is that, not, is that, do you have to pay for that? Like to, no, if you, no, no, no. It's YouTube basically for streaming. If you're, you know... Streaming an entire thing, like if, so if we many, were doing so many things. There's so many things. All right, let's close the show out. We can talk yes. for a second. Yeah, Matt, thank you. Thank you so, very much, man. We'll I'll see you guys again. We'll figure it out. Four and years of rock. rock. Yeah, we'll figure out something that's um. Four years. Hey, I did four years, years of my show, and like you know, it's four years is a long commitment. You know, mm -hmm. like people don't realize like how much goes into doing this stuff. Yeah. Like, now, now I'm on this one show in almost three years. Yeah. 
Jesus, I'm, I should just retire. <laughs> <laughs> we should all just stop doing everything. Retire this buttery voice I have. I need to lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We're all going to take right. a nap now, Marks. No plugs. Thank you. <laughs> no plugs. Thank you, Matt. No plugs. Thanks, Matt. Thank Thanks, Matt. Love you, buddy. And I guess we... Air hugs. Air hugs. Air hugs. Air hugs. Air hugs. Air hugs. Freeze free. <laughs>